Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. Monday, November 20, our market close lower today, down 28.26 points or down 0.45%. To close at 6,183.63 value turnovers at 3.33 billion pesos. No? So investors stayed on the slide sidelines uh, amid a continued sluggish trade. No? So investors also digested yung mga economic news natin. No? So balance of payment, uh, things like that. No? So anyway, uh, we also sold the country's sale of first tokenized treasury bond uh, so we were able to raise 15 billion or at least the government was able to raise 15 billion uh, worth of tokenized treasury bonds with a 6.5 percent coupon no? so sluggish trade no well, what is uh, big news today is double dragon as you know their subsidiary hotel 101 is looking to do a SPAC listing SPAC is a special purpose in short parang backdoor sa atin no so sa nasdaq no with a 17 billion dollar valuation no so it's all about storytelling naman eh kung may maniwala edi eh, okay kung wala wala no but right now its current assets are just uh ongoing project yung sa Japan, Spain and sa US no it's all about uh wala na talagang pera sa Philippines and wala na rin siyang hindi siya makaka-raise here that's why he's looking to raise close to 100 billion uh 100 million dollar no close to 5 billion pesos on on that no on a 17 billion dollar valuation no so anyway uh let's see no do naman magaling si Injapsia to disrupt no the the system no when when he started mang inasal hindi pinansin masyado ng mga competitors yan and until kailangan na nabilhin ni Jollibee si mang inasal no so right now even um, Mary Mart no which listed a uh, few years ago no he was able to raise 1.5 billion pesos on on three Mary Mart stores no on 7 billion valuations it's all about storytelling he was able to to raise money no uh, as he targets around 1200 Mary Mart stores by 2030 yung project na right now na he's doing is project Molotov no yung talagang pasabog no is looking to disrupt the retail industry by targeting uh, the Sari Sari stores. No, right now, I think the current count of Mary Mart stores is just 123. No, so they can't get to the big uh, retailers, Pure Gold, uh, Save More, etc. No, that's why he's targeting the uh, Sari Sari stores by doing a free uplift. No siya nagagastos para mapaganda yung Sari Sari stores. In return, these Sari Sari stores will purchase uh, their goods sa Mary Mart. No? So, anyway, what else? No? Ayala is also looking to raise around $1 billion from the sale of non-core assets. No? They started with, with, the, this, uh, with the sale of the toll road business to to Villar tapos yung LRT1 yan talaga yung mga non-core assets na binebenta na nila very Manila water yun binenta rin nila no so on other news A rate continues to drop no so the current yield of A rate uh, which will have another dividend uh, by next week is around 7% but yun nga with this kind of environment why will you put your money sa mga equities mga rates no if the government is selling 6.5% no guaranteed no or at least lesser risk no sa treasury bond no so the market is also uh yun no so kasama na share swap doon there's more shares sa market uh union back is also starting to uh starts their fixed rate bond offering no from 50 billion pesos so everyone's raising money in this kind of market fyi lang no San Miguel, uh, one of their unit, New San Miguel Global Power, is also ta uh, uh, looking for a $50 million term loan from a foreign bank. No? Hiwalay pa yung SM preferred nila. No? So for Mega World naman, no, they're planning to sue si Datem no, due to the additional cost from the alleged delays in some of its projects. No? So sa gantong business, ang hirap na mga... <laughs> dalawang sides lagi na story sino ba may kaslanan no so unahan lang naman pa para mag-file ng kaso no but it looks like kasi mas malaki si Megaworld so dapat uh, kinasuhan na nila si Datem 
sa una pa lang, no? Hindi yung si Datem nag, nag-order sa... Nag, nag-file ng case sa court. No? So, let's see how this will unfold. No? Anyway, our passcode for today is Mega World. No? So, not much activity in the market. No? So, uh, Mega World rate, no? M rate, no? also posted a distributable, distrib- distributable income of around 2.1 billion, which is up 13% year on year in the first nine months. No? So, si Aboitis Power also reported a net income for the first nine months of around 26.7 billion, which is up 37% year on year. No? So, last year they were able to, or yeah, last year they were able to sell 26% of their stake sa Japanese firm for around 40 pesos. So, so kumita talaga sila sa buyback program na yan, no? So, let's see if babalik sa index or not. But eventually, sh- technically, shinort nga nila yan. No? Benta muna sila, tapos nag-buyback lang sila. No? So, I don't know if uh, they can uh, accumulate 26%. No? Wala nang ganong shares. No? So, what else? No? So, uh, that's it. No? So, it's a slow trading week. No? So next week it's a shortened trading week na naman no so Bonifacio day then December na so maikli na talaga ang volume no so again thank you very much for listening stay safe bye